Oh. Hey guys, what's up? So for this video, I will be reviewing another doll for you guys, and it is going to be Bunny Blanc. So she's the daughter of the White Rabbit, um, and I have to be really honest, I'm not really a fan of her design. It doesn't really like spark to me for some reason, like there's just something off about her design. Um, I don't know if it's the pink complexion, I think it was supposed to be white, I'm not sure. But, um, I am going to give a chance to it, um, but for some reason, Bunny Blanc and Alistair is not really, like, the best designs for me. Um, and of course, their, um, doll execution, as anyone know and notice already, has been quite poor. We will see a more in-depth of that when we open her box. But, um, yeah, so this is Buddy Blanc in her box. It should, yeah, you're not gonna see that much. Um, but this is the back of it. This is her, I don't know if you can see the art. You can't really see the art. But her artwork is over here. I feel like for their artwork, you know how they will release, like, their, um, webisode, like, version, it'll be really different. And then their doll will be like completely different from their webisode version, and so I think they will match the doll for the art. Uh, I think they will ma match the doll for the artwork so that it doesn't look, you know, cheaped out. Um, but that's how she looks, and you know what else are we? What else is there? Um, but yeah. So she's the daughter of the White Rabbit, uh, again, and um, she does have like a clock here, yeah. She has a clock there, and over here she has Alistair, Faybelle, and Rosabella. And she just has her, you know, description here like every other one. But um, yeah, nevertheless, I'm so excited to unbox her and customize her. So let's go ahead and unbox her. So this is Bunny Blanc out of the box. And as you can see, she has her bookmark, her stand, and her brush. And yes, she is a royal. Let me go ahead and review her from head to toe. Her ears are not attached and is made out of hard plastic. Along with it, she wears a black top hat with a golden cloth. Her platinum hair is shoulder length and is also gelled to place. Which I want to restyle. I feel like she deserves like curls or something like that. She does have light pink skin and she is given her own face mold, I believe. Her eyes are bright blue with a lavender color eyeshadow, but the placing on her eye is faulty. Like if you guys can see, this part is lopsided. So it's not on her, like you can actually see the mold of her eyes. So I've been seeing that with most of the Bunny Blancs, so I'm, I'm not sure if it's a common problem. She has human ears and carrot earrings, and her outfit is one entire piece. She has white fur lapels and a gray and white vest. Her collar and tie over here is made out of plastic. Her mint skirt is in a high-low cut with clocks printed on it, which is really wonderlandiful. And her hands are painted black to represent gloves. Also, she has a golden clock as an accessory. I don't think it's an actual bag or it's supposed to be a bag, I just really think it's supposed to be a clock. Her socks and shoes are made out of soft plastic and they are together. And her black heels are in the shape of an hourglass adorned with cute white bunny tails in the back of it. It's really cute. I just wish that they were actually painted um, like more details on the shoes so you can actually see that it's an hourglass. But, you know what? We have our own paint. We can do that. So my overall review for her out of 10 will be a 7.5. Um, from the start, I really... I love Bunny Blanc and her personality. She has that innocence in the Ever After High, which I really adore. But we can take it a step further. Like I said, for some reason, Bunny Blanc and Alistair have less details than the rest. But then again, we have our own paint and our own stuff. We have our own crafting supplies. We can add those tiny details to make them come alive and to make them our own. So I'm really excited to customize her because this is how I felt with Faye Thorne before, but now I love Faye Thorne. 
But then again, that's our personal opinion. Um, tell me down below what you guys think of Bunny Blanc's design, what you guys think of her doll, and what you guys think overall of her. And like this video if you guys agree with me or if you like it. Um, tell me what you guys think down below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!